So my name is Reynolds Colon and I am a software engineering resident at CodeSmith. CodeSmith is a residency program for software engineers. Before I came to CodeSmith, I was actually attempting to get my master's in computer science. Uh, I was building applications with C++ and Java. Had no idea how to build things on the web. So I left the master's program, started teaching myself for several months. So I came to the New York meetup, uh, JavaScript, the hard parts. I think my favorite thing about it was we got to a point with really learning how a function happens. So really learning exactly what happens behind the computer that most engineers don't really know. And that sparked such a big interest. I was being taught for a year and a half in my master's program, and I had no idea how the function worked at all. So when I was uh, software engineering on my own and I was part of my uh, uh, master's program, there was a huge sense of competition. I didn't really feel any camaraderie between other uh, students there. People would make a code, show off what they did, and just keep it like that. They just want to be the best and, and that's what it was. Whereas when I started coming to JavaScript, the hard parts, I got a real feel of the community of software engineers that are just trying to get better. Technology is always moving. So when I came to CodeSmith, uh, I finally got to be in that space where I was with other software engineers, new things happen, we get together, figure things out, learn, grow, and that's what it's supposed to be. Like, it's supposed to be helping other people get better. Because if you help people get better, you get better as well. So my team and I, for the first couple of days uh, during week six, we were really trying to figure out how we can improve something in the developer community that is necessary. And uh, I was talking one day after coming out of the train, I was reading something on Hacker News about Redux and GraphQL, these, a query language that uh, is somewhat new and Apollo recently upgraded um, this client that's online that you can use for GraphQL. It has its own store to hold data and the store kind of nixed the use of uh, Redux, which also has its own store. So beforehand you would have GraphQL and Redux together and you can have Apollo. But now that Apollo upgraded, you no longer needed it. So you would have to cut out all of your Redux code, which Redux is very good for uh, an application size that is like huge, is pretty big. So taking that into account, we figured people who are now upgrading Apollo, if they want to upgrade, they'd have to get rid of all their Redux code. And that could be time consuming and pretty much a hassle. So what we did instead was we actually created a uh, promise-based microlibrary that bridges the store between Apollo's new upgrade to Redux. And so anytime anything happens in your code with using Apollo, we reshaped it to actually work on Redux. So you never have to get rid of your Redux code. You keep your Redux in your application and you don't have to worry about it. You can upgrade and get the new features that are there for your GraphQL and then do both at the same time. Yeah, GraphQL I've only heard about. I never myself tried it. And I really had to get familiar with GraphQL in order to create this uh, microlibrary. So you get together with your team, you come up with a plan, and even if it's technologies you've never touched before, you're looking at documentation and you come out like full force. I don't think I would have ever dreamed that I'd actually create a middleware library for other engineers to have. That's not something that I thought I'd do on my own. So coming out of the master's program, I couldn't build anything. 
And then teaching myself, I was able to build uh, scalable websites. So before coming to Codesmith, I was planning on doing some freelance work uh, on my own for web development. I anticipated trying to apply for either internships because I um, figured that's all I was good for at that time. But now that I've come to Codesmith, I'm not looking for anything less than a mid-senior level software engineering position. Uh, I've definitely got the skills that I did not have before and I understand the concepts that I was using and had no idea how, what they were doing at the same time. <laughs> yeah, uh, for me, Codesmith was definitely worth it. Before coming here, I was looking for positions within the 50K range for sure because the technical skills that I had just were not polished. They just were ready for someone else to teach me and for me to just get better at it. But now that I know what I know, I'm definitely looking for something above 110. That's not something I definitely couldn't have said beforehand. 